Hello friends, this is MD Fayyum, civil engineer. A warm welcome back with a new video to our academy JLT. Today I am going to discuss about beam. What is meant by beam and types of a beam. So if you before going to discuss in detail, I request all the viewers, those who are new to our channel, kindly like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's move on to discuss about what is meant by beam. You can view the images we have plotted here. These are the structures shows us this is nothing but beam you can view. So now let us see the definition. Why are we going to discuss about this concept? So as a civil engineer, we always work with structural loads or we will be going to design construction with different types of beams. This is a basic concept for the engineer to be aware of all to do all such things like construction. So by the end of this concept, we are expecting a student or engineer will be capable to identify the beams, their function, uses and properties. Beams are characterized by their manner of support, profile, that is shape of cross section, equilibrium conditions, etc. length and their material. So this is the main concept why we are going to study about the beam. Now let us see the definition of a beam. So what is meant by beam? You can view these are the beams are available. All the horizontal members are available. These horizontal members can be termed as a beam. So what is meant by beam in engineering? A beam is a structural element which is capable of withstanding the transverse loads. Or you can also define as a, a beam is a structural element that preliminary structural eliminate that primarily resist load applied laterally to the beam axis. Its mode of deflection is primarily by bending. Simply a beam transfers its applied load to the support. The total effect of all the forces acting on the beam is to produce shear forces and bending movements within the beam that in turn induce internal stresses, strains and deflections of the beam. So what is the Overall definition, it is nothing but simply it will transfer the applied load to the supports. It's a horizontal member, structural member where it is standing the transfers load. Now let us see what are the types of beams are available. Based on the concept of how they are supported, they are classified into six types. Number one, cantilever beam. Number two, simply supported beam. Number 3 overhanging beam, number 4 proper cantilever beam or we also known as another one name beam with one end injured and other end roller also you can take as a similar towards the proper cantilever beam. Actually it is a one end fixed will be there other end will be roller. So this is also will be considered as one, one type of a beam. Next fixed beam, next continuous beam. So you can view the overall image. So this image shows as a cantilever simply one end fixed other end is free simply supported one end is hinge support other end is roller support then overhanging beam resting on the two supports continuous beam resting more than two or three supports fixed beam both ends are fi uh, fixed that is proper cantilever beam one end fixed one end is a roller support. Now let us see one by one structure what is meant by cantilever beam. A beam which having a fixed support on one end and other end is set free is known as a cantilever beam. As we can see some best examples of cantilever beam below. You can see the best example this is a balcony or terrace also we can say this is a open place where you are going to enjoy. You can give the maximum span one end is fixed other end is free. The another one image you can also see here and this is a example of a cantilever beam. Now let us move towards the important thing. Cantilever is a rigid structural element that extends horizontally and is supported at only one end. Typically it extends from a flat vertical surface such as wall to which it must be firmly attached like other structural members. A cantilever can be form, formed as a beam plate plus or slab. So friends, let us see what is meant by simply supported beam. So you can view the images, two supports are available and one beam is available on that, that is resting on two supports. It is nothing but simply supported beam. So a beam with simple supports exactly at two ends, so exactly at ends, 
of the beam then it is called as a simply supported beam in the real world people don't tend to design anything with simple support but one of the ancient movement was built up by this concept so a beam supported or resting freely on the support at its both ends is known as a simply supported beam so it is clearly showing that two ends will be resting that is the beam will be resting on the two ends now let us see about what is meant by overhanging beam overhanging beam as you can view the image this is a swimming pool this is single overhanging beam you can see this is also single overhanging beam if one span is elongation more and other is at a fixed support fixed that is ending then it is known as overhanging beam this is an example of a swimming pool where you can able to jump from the corner so let us see the definition here these beams will also have supports but one end or both ends of the beam will be having some extension after the support so you can view the images if the end portion of the beam is extended beyond the support such beam is known as overhang beam beam any side any portion either it is left hand, left side or right hand side if the span that is extended end portion is extended then it is known as overhanging beam now basically overhanging beams are further divided into two types one is a single overhanging beam that means this you can able to take the example for single overhanging beam second one it is double overhanging beam both ends are having supports will be coming at center and uh, the span will be increasing beyond the support on two sides then it is known as a double overhanging beam now let us see about what is meant by proper cantilever beam so we can say proper cantilever beam is another type of cantilever beam in proper cantilever beam the free end of the cantilever beam is placed on a roller support then the resultant beam will be proper cantilever beam you can see these are the examples are available first you see one end is fixed other end is a, we having given prop that is one support the such type of beam is known as a proper cantilever beam and you can see the live uh, example of images also a beam with fixed support a beam with the fixed support at one end and roller support at another end is known as a proper cantilever beam if the roller support is not at the extreme end but present at other location and providing reaction force then it is called as a proper cantilever with overhang now let us move towards the another beam that is what is meant by continuous beam so before going to definition you can view the live images more than two supports if you are getting any uh, resting any beam that can be termed as a continuous beam these are the examples uh, bridges etc we will be constructing like flyovers uh, bridges etc all will be done by the continuous beam so in, it is a beam which carries more than two supports and some of the examples of continuous beams are bridges simply it is said as continuous a beam extending over more than two supports it may be made entirely of the same material homogeneous or it may be composed of different material composite together so it may be constructed of one material or it may be having different material now let us move towards the another beam that is what is meant by fixed beam so a fixed beam already you can view the images are available both ends are fixed here this is an example for the fixed beam here a beam which is having fixed supports on both of its ends it is named as fixed beam and we can see some animated and real examples of these kinds of beams and how they are there restricting the movement of the beam you can view this also a fixed beam example live example this is also one example and this is a example of normally as a subjective wise a fixed beam is one with ends restrained from rotation in reality a beams ends are never completely fixed as they are often modeled for simplicity so friends i think you like the video a lot i request all the viewers kindly like share and subscribe our channel jlt academy thanks for watching